Is there a way in which we can make the city where we live smarter? Well, we think yes. We think that we can involve everyone who's living in the city to give his contribution to make things better for the environment, for the city, for the people itself. What is behind the huge expansion of smartphones? They are changing the way we live, but can they also change the way cities and even the planet will continue to develop? We already use mobile phones for a variety of uses. Phone calls, SMS messages, emails. But what if we could enable smartphones to leverage their multitasking capabilities to become fully aware of their surroundings? Hi, my name's Ed Gellard and I work in the Emerging Technology Service Department in IBM UK's research labs in Hursley. The challenge is to create a system that allows us to apply intelligence to a crowd by using their mobile phones to seamlessly monitor and transmit data without having a performance impact on their phone. This can enhance the user's experience as well as benefit the community at large. Do you have one of these? This is a smartphone. So try to think how many people have a smartphone today. So try to imagine if everyone will just use it to transmit information from the smartphone to a central point. This is the concept that we name it the human sensors. So uh, using people, involving people to communicate uh, through their smartphones some information about the quality of life in the city. The Greenhavior project allows a smartphone to seamlessly broadcast environmental data to Twitter, a map and a database for further analysis without any other interaction. So we're here at Palmer University and what you see behind me is this fantastic vehicle which is going to be driving itself all the way from Palmer to Shanghai over this long journey that's going to take months and months and months. By using emerging technologies, Greenhavior will measure the carbon dioxide and other pollutant levels around the cars, taking advantage of this extraordinary 13,000 kilometer journey from Italy to China. So what we've done here is we've taken a regular mobile phone that you can buy from the high street and we've connected that to a carbon dioxide uh, sensor. And just using regular everyday technology, we're taking the data from the carbon dioxide sensor and we're transmitting that through the phone's internet connection uh, to the world. Uh, where that data can be taken and, and consumed by anyone. And one of the things we're planning to do is to take the data and share it with the rest of the world using Twitter. The data is being generated by a Bluetooth sensor outside the vehicles that measures various pollutants and the car's GPS position. By using a custom smartphone application developed by IBM Human Centric Solution Team and IBM Emerging Technology Services, Greenhavior will retrieve this data and pass it back to the IBM servers for visualizing, analyzing, and even twittering. This project involves taking carbon dioxide readings and storing them on the phone and then sending them back to IBM to process and do intelligent things with them. What's important is that when we send the data from the mobile phone, we need to know it gets to the IBM server. The IBM project team, based in Paris, Hursley, and Milan, had to face different challenges besides the trip from Italy to China, like guaranteeing the quality of the data in extreme conditions, high temperatures, dusty roads, lack of mobile network coverage, and most importantly, no user interactions. This is a perfect example of a human-centric solution. A human-centric solution defines itself by being meaningful and seamless. Our mission is to enable users to transmit data to uh, standard networks. We leverage a human as a sensor to collect information, important information from the field to the network and the community. The Smarter Planet is IBM's vision for making the world a better place by addressing some of the big challenges facing our planet. The emerging technologies applied to everyday human life are enabling the creation of a world which is instrumented, interconnected, and intelligent. Greenhavior is an example of such a system in action. Smart is bringing value to the customer by applying innovation and emerging technology. In no word, smart means different. Do things differently. To me, smart is taking data from all sorts of sources, combining them to do interesting and intelligent things with them. This is the purpose of the Greenavio project, 
to involve citizens with their phones to monitor the quality of air to make a better quality of life in our cities.